is to say, let's talk a little bit about picking on an instrument like this. You'll notice I'm using a thumb pick and bare fingers. Uh, a lot of people do that. Some people, oh, oh we'll get that later. Uh, a lot of people just use all bare fingers, which I often do. This is my favorite bar. Uh, it's a shove. And you can see it's got three indentations, which allows me to have total control over it and a rounded tip. Which allows me to play notes and <coughs> still have resonating strength. But I can still play bar. And having the, the three indentations that allows me a lot of grip. The traditional bar, or they call it a bullet or a slug, is all round. Has a little bit more mass, and you can hear it has a little bit different tone. Than my beloved chub. A little bit more bite, a little less thickness of tone. And then when I was playing the resonator from Fender, I was using a glass bar. Which has a completely different tonal characteristic. So this bar was given to me by a very good friend of mine, Pete Bratt. Hi, Pete. Uh, and he showed up from Nashville. He'd gone back to Nashville. A friend of his called him up and said, Hey, I'm, I'm playing at the Hard Rock. I'd like you to play with me. So Pete flew back there. He told uh, uh, Mr. Leroy Parnell about my preference for bronze slides. And he brought this back to me. He said, Leroy says, use this. So I've been using this a bit. And I still do from time to time, but I recently discovered, here comes the pitch, this beastie called the Rock Slide. And it's um, most slides, bronze slides, glass slides, they, they do a tube and then they whack off the ends and file them down and, and, sh and give it to you. These guys came with a little different technology. I think they borrowed it from Neumann family who does the same thing with their microphones. They took a slug, a brass, and machined it down. And that allows them to control the inside. The inside is tapered, which you can't see on this video. And it's got a little lip right here at the end that my tip can grab onto very easily. We've got it cut here so I can kind of bend my finger more natural. And a couple of flat spots here that my fingers can grip it. <laughs> But, you know, Pete's a hell of a player. I mean, Leroy asked him, came out, and Leroy is no slouch on the slide guitar. In fact, he taught Pete most everything he knows. I'm told that Leroy's using these now as well. But, um, so those are different tonalities you can get. Harder to play a bar like this. But uh, you can do it. I do have a Fender Resonator myself, and I usually play it lap style with my shove. And I like it well enough. Uh, let's talk a little bit about picks. Now that I've lost them all, I will often use a thumb pick. But I do this a lot. finger picks. I got the plastic ones, not thinking we're going to do a video. The metal ones show up better. But they go on the tips of your fingers like this. And then you can...
attacking some. My problem is my brushing style, they tend to get under the strings and it makes it difficult for me. So I've never really mastered the finger pick style. A uh, guy I greatly respect, Yorma Kalkinen, uh, with Jefferson Airplane. Um, he uses picks to uh, a great advantage. Uh, there's a couple tunes on YouTube. Water Song, uh, great example of some finger style guitar using finger picks. Uh, but uh, as you can see, a little bit of bar work here. same thing. I'm not known for my repetitive nature. I always play things a little bit different each time. I like to say it keeps things interesting. My detractor says it's because I'm lazy. And it's a little bit duller tone. I like to say it's warmer because warmer has a positive, a positive connotation and dull is dull. for a second though. Like we're just going to put that back for the rest of the segment as they say. I want to go back and play this one more time. I need one of those footstools. There, that'll work. We'll use the out of shot fender amplifier. your neighbors, girlfriends, their boyfriends, whatever. It's all good. Get the back of this. This is amazing. Anyway, I think we've... Uh... Oh wait, the audience has a question. Why do, you, why do you use the slide on your ring finger? Ah, an excellent question. When I'm playing slide guitar, I use it on my ring finger because Bonnie uses it on her ring finger. No, uh... <laughs> Uh, a lot of cats use it here, and, and we'll go back to the Fender Resophonic, or Resonator. A lot of guys like that because they can, they can still solo. Uh, but you'll notice that the slide wobbles a bit when you do that. Even with my new high-tech rock slide, there's a plug, it still wobbles a bit. But if I put it on my ring finger, I have both fingers on either side to control it. And open tuning is not my best, but uh, I can still I can still do my chording, and I can still use the slide, and the fingers lock it down so it doesn't wobble. I have a lot more control. Some guys put it on their index finger so they can tell the sound guy, hey, I'm having problems here in my slide. Um, anyway, uh, but I like it on my ring finger. You have to figure out what works best. I've even seen people put it on their index finger. It's kind of weird that way. So, that's about it for, for Hawaiian embodiment of music into swing and slide and blues and all the other good stuff. Uh, 